Purification of oocytes using the cryotech method. Before beginning the process, ensure that the microscope stage heating is turned off and the room temperature is around 25 to 27 degrees centigrade. Bring equilibration solution or ES and vitrification solution or VS vials to room temperature at least one hour before vitrification. Write ES, VS1 and VS2 on the lid of the vitri plate. Fill the wells of vitri plate with 300 microliters of ES, VS1 and VS2 respectively. Put the lid back on the vitri plate immediately. Use a pipette that has the right suitable internal diameter to minimize the volume of vitrification solution. Take the culture dish containing oocyte out of the incubator. Check the quality of the oocyte under the microscope. Note the width of the perivitaline space. For oocyte vitrification, the cumulus cells must be removed. Aspirate the oocyte at the tip of the pipette. Transfer the oocyte with minimal amount of medium on the surface of ES film. Start the stopwatch. As the oocyte sinks to the bottom, it will shrink. Put the lid back on the plate and wait for the recovery of the shrinkage. When the oocyte volume is completely recovered, it is the end of this step. Oocyte equilibration is complete when the width of the perivitaline space becomes equal to the width before immersing into VS. If you can't confirm the complete recovery, the time limit for this step is 15 minutes. Write all the information about the oocyte on the handle of the cryotech and set it on the vitri plate. Also fill 90% of the cooling rack with fresh liquid nitrogen. Aspirate the oocyte with ES at the tip of the pipette. Transfer the oocyte at the middle depth of VS1. Discard the remaining ES outside the well and aspirate fresh VS1 from the edge of the wall. Oocyte floats immediately to the surface of VS1. Aspirate oocyte at the tip of the pipette and transfer it again to the bottom of VS1. The oocyte floats slowly to the middle depth and stops. Discard the remaining VS1 and aspirate fresh VS2. Aspirate oocyte at the tip of the pipette. This entire step in VS1 should be completed within 30 to 40 seconds. Transfer the oocyte to the middle depth of VS2 with minimal amount of VS1. Discard the remaining VS and aspirate fresh VS2. Expel VS2 around the oocyte and mix the solution around the oocyte to exchange the remaining previous solution. This step is completed when the flat shrinking of the oocyte is observed. Aspirate the shrunk oocyte with minimal amount of VS2 at the tip of the pipette. This entire step in VS2 should be completed within 10 to 20 seconds. Get the cryotic tip under the microscope. Place the oocyte near the end of cryotic sheet with minimal volume of VS2. One oocyte per droplet is recommended. One cryotech stores up to four oocytes so you can make four droplets. Immediately submerge the cryotech into fresh liquid nitrogen. Put the straw cap on cryotech in the liquid nitrogen. Ensure that the cap is fitted tightly onto the cryotech. Put the cryotech in a cane and store it in a liquid nitrogen tank. Do not expose the cryotech to air until warming. The warming process. Before beginning the process, ensure that the microscope stage heating is turned off. Use a pipette that has the right suitable internal diameter to optimize the dilution of the solutions to get a high survival rate after warming. Place the warm plate and TS file with cap in the incubator at 37 degrees at least 4 hours before warming. Overnight storage is recommended. Bring DS and WS files to room temperature of 25 to 27 degrees centigrade at least 1 hour before warming. 
Retrieve the cane with the specific crowd tick. Quickly immerse the cane in cooling rig filled with fresh liquid nitrogen. Place the cooling rig with crowd tick very close to the microscope stage. When you are absolutely ready, take the warm plates out of the incubator. Fill the DS well with 300 microliter of dilution solution. Carefully twist and remove the screw cap of the cryotech into liquid nitrogen. Take TS out of the incubator. Gently invert the TS vial to mix and fill the rectangular well with 1.8 ml of TS. Quickly immerse the cryotech into TS well within 1 second. This step is extremely crucial to achieve high warming rates. Start the stopwatch for 1 minute. Oocyte separates from the cryotech sheet by itself and begins to float. Confirm the oocyte existence in the TS well. Do not touch the oocyte for one minute. At the end of one minute, gently aspirate the oocyte and also aspirate TS till 3 mm length into the pipette. Transfer TS to the bottom center of DS and gently put the oocyte at the bottom of TS layer in DS well. This is for the most gradual displacement from TS to DS. Wait for 3 minutes. While waiting, fill the WS1 and WS2 well with 300 microliter of washing solution. At the end of 3 minutes, aspirate the oocyte and 3 mm long of DS into the pipette. Transfer DS to the bottom center of WS1 and put the oocyte slowly at the bottom of DS layer in WS1 well. This is for the most gradual displacement from DS to WS1. Wait for 5 minutes. You can judge the survival of the oocyte at the end of this step depending on the recovery of the shrunken oocyte. Aspirate the oocyte with minimum volume of WS1. Put the oocyte on the surface of the WS2 well. It will free fall to the bottom of the well. Pick up the oocyte from the bottom and let it again free fall from the surface of WS2 well to the bottom, thus washing the oocyte twice. Transfer the oocyte in the droplet of the appropriate culture media for recovery. After warming, 4 hours culture for oocyte is recommended as the spindle recovery takes about 3 to 4 hours. So wait for 4 hours after warming before fertilizing the oocyte with ICSI.